I've decided to reline the body of the furnace as it was leaking and it was crumbling and getting old. So I'll give you a quick view around what my furnace actually looks like. The lining you see is what's called ganister. It's a clay, silica, rock mix. It's a cheaper mix and it's not meant to take cast iron melting temperatures. And then what I do is I put ceramic fibre, kaolin wool on top. Alright, there's a view inside the furnace. And as you can see, I've got a problem with my valve. It tends to leak a little bit. I might have to fix that. And there is the pedestal I build up and then put another board pedestal on top of that as well. I know some of you might be interested in my waste oil burner. Here is a bit of a close-up. As you can see in the outer ring is the venturi and the center tube you can just see poker I use to uncarbon the jet. The jet is about 1.6 millimeters in diameter. It's quite a large one and does tend to carbon up from occasionally. So I'll show you the poker going through. Here is a view of my poker. There's the sharp end. There is the handle. That's what I use to clear the blockages and carbonization of the jet. Here is a close-up of my pedestal. As you can see, it's got a bit of wear and tear in it. I'll have to patch it up again with some more ganister. I've made up a really sloppy mix of the ganister. It's nice and wet. The idea is to moisten the original surface so it'll stick. The rest of the ganister has been mixed up with the barest minimum of moisture but to make it still workable and so I can push it in and make a decent pedestal out of it. There is what it looks like and this is how we push it in. Smoothing it out, all I use is a piece of aluminium I've cast. So just keep doing that until it's smooth. And you put a spirit level on and put it both directions to make sure it's fairly level. This is my new pedestal. After 20 minutes of fiddling and fussing got it to the right shape, it's level. All I have to do now is wait for weeks until it dries but I'm too impatient for that so we'll get the blow torch out and give it curry. I've got the propane torch going now I'll have a go at drying the pedestal. Ten minutes later just about dried it out. Now it'll give it the full force of the propane burner. Right, everything's been patched up ready for the KO wool. The KO wool hot face insulation has been installed in the walls. It is 40 millimeters thick and next up I'll put the floor in after this. The floor of the furnace has got a layer of KO wool and now it's ready for a protective coating. I've used 
the last of my J-coat to coat the bottom of the furnace and the rest of the furnace walls will be coated with Zircoat. The Zircoat W has been painted on and the furnace is nearly ready to go. This is a close up view of the lifter mechanism for the lid of my furnace. There's the stop, it shows it in position, then raised, swung round. That's the return spring. And that's the handle. The lid has been reassembled onto the furnace and we'll do a quick tour of how it's fitted on there. You can see the bolt that holds it on there. And there are the vertical struts. They attach to the lid down there and there. This is how the lid opens and shuts.